Hello everyone, this is Imran Pardesi sir and today I will be starting the new topic of Standard 9th Math 2nd Chapter number 6 circle and before starting 6.2 we will go through the theorem which is very much important to solve 6.2 exercise. Please look at the board. See here. So theorem is congruent chords of a circle are equidistant from the center of the circle. Please observe this figure for just one minute. This is a circle. Point P is the center of the circle. AB is the chord and CD is also a chord. AB, chord AB is equals to chord CD. These both chords are congruent. Okay? And we have to prove that that congruent chords of a circle are equidistant. Means PM is equals to PN. We have to prove that. So it means we should go through what is given first. So in this figure we have to prove that PN which is perpendicular on chord CD and PM which is perpendicular on chord AB. So these PM and PN they are distance between the two chords. Okay, always remember perpendicular is only the distance between the center and the chord. So this center and this is chord. This is center and this is also chord. So we have to prove that these two chords which are congruent. I say chord jo congruent hai, equal hai. Wo hamesha center se equal distance par hi rahege. Okay, this is we have to prove. So now see what is given in the question. We will say that see a circle with center P, point P. Okay, chord AB is congruent to chord CD. It is given. Segment PM, segment PM is perpendicular on chord AB. So therefore we can write A dash M dash B. It means A and B are collinear points. Yes. Similarly we will say that segment PN, PN is perpendicular on chord CD. So therefore C and C dash N, N dash D, they are the three also will be the collinear points. These three points in the line, these three points are in the line. So collinear points. So what is to be proved as I have explained you, we have to prove segment PM is congruent to segment PN. Okay, so now we will start, first we will construct, we will do the construction. What is construction? We can join any time the center of the circle to the one point of a chord or another point also of a chord. So there, that will be radius. If you will join point center of the circle and the chord end point, it will be, see this is PA and PA is the radius of the circle. Similarly, PC is also radius of the circle, radius of the same circle. So therefore, AP congruent hoga, sorry, PA congruent hoga PCK. Why? Because radius of the same circle. So see, draw segment PA and segment PC. So we have drawn. Now we will prove that AM is half of chord AB. Similarly, we will say that CN, CN is half of CD. Why? Because perpendicular drawn from center to chord bisect the chord. Here perpendicular drawn from center to chord bisect the chord. So this is how AN is half of AB and CN is half of CD. Reason we know. Now, but AB, we know AB is equals to CD, right? So AM, AM is equals to CN. So simple, AB jitna hai, CD bhi utna hai. So if perpendicular divides AB into two equal parts, so see CN also divides the uh, chord into two equal parts. So AM jitna hoga, CN bhi utna hi hoga. Vaise A, BM jitna hoga, DN bhi utna hi hoga, right? Because CD and AB are equal, same hai. So from first and second, we, we got the third and fourth, see? So in triangle PMA, see PMA, this, this right angle triangle, triangle PMA and P and C, this is right angle triangle, this is right angle triangle, okay? So we will utilize over there that M angle M and angle N are 90 degrees, see each of 90 degree angle PMA, PMA, M is 90 degree, angle P and C, N is 90 degree, so hypotenuse, can you see hypotenuse, this is the opposite side, so this is hypotenuse. PA is congruent to PC already we know. So radius of the same circle we have already discussed over here. So side AM, side AM is congruent to side CN. From fourth, everything is very much clear. So therefore we will say these two triangles, triangle PMA and PNC are 
congruent to each other by what by which test that is a hypotenuse side test because it is a hypotenuse hypotenuse side also congruent sides also congruent so therefore we will say these two triangle pma and pnc these two triangles are congruent to each, each other by hypotenuse side test so therefore their sides also will be congruent c segment pm segment this is third side so segment pm is congruent to segment pn why because corresponding sides of congruent triangles are congruent to each other i hope this is only we have to prove and you have understood see ab congruent cd congruent pn perpendicular pm perpendicular am is equals to cn okay and pc is equals to pa all are congruent so automatically pm is congruent to pm because the semi congruent correspondent sides of congruent triangles are also congruent to each other i hope you understood this theorem so please practice this and now we will start the practice set 6.2 so dear students after the theorem we will see the practice set 6.2 question number 1 and 2 question number 3 is reduced from your syllabus for this year so we will see the question number 1 it is also based on the theorem only just now we have seen what is the theorem okay just look at the board you will understand very quickly first read the question radius of circle is 10 cm okay radius of the circle is pa is the radius and that is 10 cm there are two chords of length 16 cm each it means ab is one chord and cd is another chord two chords they are 16 cm each it means both the chords are congruent ab 16 cd also 16 what will be the distance of these chords from the center of the circle okay so see just now we have seen the theorem point p is the center of the circle ab segment ab is the chord segment cd is the chord segment ab and segment cd are congruent 16 cm 16 cm okay and from center if we will construct the perpendicular okay we will construct the perpendicular from center to chord that is pm pm will divide the segment into two equal parts 16 half am is a half of ab am is a half of ab 16 half 8 8 and radius that is pa pa is the radius that is 10 cm so two sides we know am 8 cm and pa 10 cm and we have to find c what will be the distance of this chords from the center from the center distance of this chord from the center so it is pm we have to find and we know in a circle if two chords are congruent then these two chords will be equidistant from the center agar circle mein do chords equal hai congruent hai to wo center se barabar ke fasle par honge is it clear now we will follow the same trick okay we will see we have constructed pa that is the radius so can you see this triangle triangle pma pma we will not solve this why because we know that two chords in a circle two chords from the center will be at equal distance it means if two chords are congruent agar do chords congruent hai so th these two chords this this congruent congruent chords will be equal distance from the center so if you will find out a pm directly you can say pm is equals to pn so pm and pn value will be same i hope you understood pm and pn equal hote hain if agar circle ke andar do chords congruent hai to wo center se equal distance par hi hoge is it clear this is the theorem now we will write what is what is you can see over there in the figure you will draw the figure roughly you will understand so given things you will write okay here we will see see a circle with center p see this is a, a circle whose having center p radius 10 cm that is pa 10 cm chord ab is congruent to chord cd segment pm perpendicular on chord ab and segment pn is perpendicular on chord cd okay so can you see here a dash m dash b these three points a m and b are collinear points similarly c dash n dash d these three points are also collinear points 
Yes. So we what we have to find what will be the distance of these chords. It means P M N P N is equals to how much? We have to find P M N P N P M N P N how much is equals to question mark. We have to find out. So we will select only this triangle triangle P M A because this triangle is congruent to this triangle. We know. So we will solve only this first this one triangle. जो इसके बराबर होगा इज इट क्लियर सो डू यू यू गॉट टू साइड ए एम इज अ हाफ ऑफ ए बी लुक एट इन सोल्यूशन पी ए इज इक्वल टू टेन सेंटीमीटर पी ए दैट इज आर आर मीन रेडियस रेडियस इज टेन सेंटीमीटर रेडियस ऑफ द सर्कल ए एम कैन यू सी ए एम इज हाफ ए एम आधा है ए बी का आधा है ए बी इज सिक्सटीन सो सिक्सटीन हाफ एट सी ए एम इज हाफ ऑफ ए बी So half of AB means AB is 16. So half of 16 is 8 centimeter. So we will say AM 8 centimeter, PA 10 centimeter. So in right angle triangle, we can find out the third side by Pythagoras theorem. In triangle PMA, now we will utilize this triangle PMA. Angle M is 90 degree. Angle M is equals to 90 degree. Therefore, we will utilize the Pythagoras theorem. And that is PA square means hypotenuse. Opposite side of a right angle triangle PA is a hypotenuse square is equal to side one square plus side two square. Side this is hypotenuse PA square hypotenuse PM square side one square and AM square side two square. PA is ten centimeter PM we have to find AM eight square so ten square hundred PM square PM square eight square sixty four. 64 will come to the 100. It will subtract 100 minus 64. Answer will come 36 is equals to PM square. We will write it properly. That is PM square is equals to 36. We don't want PM square. We want only PM. So therefore, we will take the square root by taking square root. Therefore, PM is equals to 6 centimeter. Now we came to know that PM is equals to 6 centimeter. Similarly, PM is equals to PN. PM बराबर है PN के. Why? Because in a circle, एक circle में अगर दो chords congruent है, equal है, so these chords will be uh, at equal distance from the center. तो ये दोनों chords center से बराबर के फासले पर होंगे. Is it clear? So therefore, C chord AB congruent to chord CD that is given. So therefore, PM is equals to PN. In a circle, congruent chords are equidistant from the center. So therefore, PM is equals to PN is equals to six centimeter. So this is how you have to solve the practice set six point two question number one. I hope you understood. So dear students, after question number one of practice set six point two, we will see the question number two. It is also like the same. Okay, just please look at the board and try to understand. Okay, see here. Question number two is in a circle with radius thirteen centimeter. This is a circle and radius PA thirteen centimeter. Uh, do you observe something? I am keeping the figure same. Why? Because we should get habitual of it. We should solve it very quickly by utilizing the same uh, same figure, same names, so that it will be very much easy to solve very fast. Okay, so radius of this circle will be thirteen centimeter. Two equal chords. Listen very carefully. Chords are equal. It means AB segment AB is equal to segment CD. Okay, at a distance of five centimeter from the center, they are means chords are at the distance of five centimeter from the center. It means center se chord five centimeter ke distance par hai. PM five centimeter. So here also PN also will be five centimeter and PC is the radius. So radius is thirteen centimeter. Okay, we will utilize this triangle only PMA so that this triangle is congruent to this triangle. So we will utilize this triangle only, and then we will solve. We will show the relation that segment AB chord AB is congruent to chord CD. Okay, so here now we came to know by the question radius 13 centimeter. Two chords are equal, and these two chords are at a distance of five centimeter from the center. Find the length of the chords. So we have to find the length of chord AB and length of chord CD, and they will be equal. It is given in the question. The chords are equal. So similarly, we will write the same thing. What is given? A center with a circle with center P. Okay. 
Now radius 13 centimeter. That is PA or you can say PC 13 centimeter. Chord AB is congruent to chord CD. It is given here given equal chords. Segment PM is perpendicular on chord AB. So therefore we will say AM A dash M dash B. These three are collinear points. So segment PM similarly segment PN is also perpendicular on chord CD. So therefore we can say C dash N dash D. These three points are collinear. Ek hi line mein hai. Okay. So segment See, so we have what we have to find at the last find the length of the chords, length of AB and length of CD we have to find. Okay, so solution PA or PC are the radius of the circle 13 centimeter. PA is equals to 13 centimeter radius of the circle. It is given. What else is given now? We will utilize this triangle again and again. I am focusing you here. PMA triangle in triangle PMA angle M is 90 degree it is given given by this altitude symbol so therefore we will say that is PA square by Pythagoras theorem okay it is a right angle triangle so we will utilize Pythagoras theorem opposite side of right angle triangle is hypotenuse so PA square hypotenuse square is equals to side 1 PM square plus side 2 AM square C. So PA is how much? 13. And PM is how much? 5. 13 square is equal to 5 square plus AM square. 13 square 169. 5 square 25. AM square as it is. This 25 will come to the bigger number 169. It will subtract. 169 minus 25. Answer is 144. Okay. So AM square is equal to 144. We have to write it correctly. That is AM square is equal to 144. By taking, we don't want AM square. We don't want AM square. We want AM. So therefore, this is square we will take. By taking the square root, AM is equal to 144 is the perfect square of 12. It is clear. So therefore, AM is equal to 12 centimeter. AM 12 hai. So AV kitna hoga? 12 and 12. Is it clear? So 12 plus 12, 24. See here. Segment PM is perpendicular on chord AB. It is given. So therefore AM kya hai? AM half hai kiska AB ka? Chord AB. So AM is a half of chord AB. So AM is equal to half of AB. AB value we have to find. But AM value we know that is 12. So this 2 will come here. It will de it will multiply. See 2 is in the division form. 2 yaha par denominator hai. Division hai. So this 2 will come to the left hand side. It will multiply. 12 to 0 24 so we will come to know that AB is equals to 24 see that is AB is equals to 24 centimeter and what is given in the question these two chords are equal chords it means AB chord AB is congruent to chord CD it is given therefore length of AB is equals to length of CD and that is is equals to 24 centimeter I hope you understood this easy explanation in, uh, we remember in the circle chapter we have to utilize the Pythagoras theorem which is mostly uh, usable theorem in the world. So please practice this and here we finish the practice set 6.2 because question, uh, question number 3 of practice set 6.2 is reduced from your, from your syllabus for this year. So please practice. Thank you so much and best of luck.